You are not alone. President Biden offered full U.S. support to Israel during his visit Wednesday, less than two weeks after the terrorist attack by Hamas. Justice must be done. But I caution this while you feel that rage. Don't be consumed by it. With the possible Israeli invasion looming, hundreds of thousands of people are fleeing northern Gaza. I rather suspect that the IDF is going to go into uh, Gaza. Yeah! If they do that, there are going to be a lot of civilian casualties. Andrew Latham teaches international relations at McAllister College. I think the entire point of the Hamas attack, given its barbarism and its severity and its inhumanity, was to provoke the largest and worst Israeli response. While in the Middle East, Biden announced an agreement to bring humanitarian aid into Gaza through Egypt. He also said U.S. intelligence shows Israel was not responsible for Tuesday's hospital blast in Gaza City. But that didn't stop protests from happening around the region, like at the U.S. Embassy in Lebanon. Meanwhile, the Biden administration is scrambling to keep a deal alive between Israel and Saudi Arabia that would normalize diplomatic relations in a challenge to Iran. Balance of power politics, basically, in the Persian Gulf region, um, not wanting Iran to extend or expand its influence. Iran has threatened a response if Israel invades Gaza, and the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah also poses a threat. Hezbollah has uh, considerably greater power than Hamas. So if Hezbollah was drawn into this conflict, I think it would, it would complicate the issue. To deter Iran and Hezbollah, the U.S. already sent two aircraft carriers to the eastern Mediterranean. All of this, of course, is drawing attention away from Russia's war with Ukraine, which is still ongoing. Russian President Vladimir Putin was in China this week, and neither of those countries, it should be noted, have condemned the attack by Hamas. Julie.